Finally here at 7, Sky Watchers are in for a treat later this week. There is a three day stretch with interesting things to see in both the morning and evening sky. Meteorologist John Hickey shows us what to look for and when in this week's Sky Watch 16. Our moon is in a waning crescent phase this week. That gives our sky watchers the best view of our night sky. No natural light pollution from our moon to drown out some of those more faint stars. We have a great three night stretch coming up where there will be interesting stuff to see in our morning and evening sky. It starts on the evening of Thursday, April 28th, when you can find the planet Mercury at its highest point up off the horizon by about 21 degrees. To find Mercury, look for the constellation Taurus the Bull. Mercury will be located to the lower right of that. The best time to see this will be at about 8.15 in the evening. It does set quickly, so you'll want to adhere to that 8.15 guideline. On the following evening, Mercury has some company. It's joined by the Seven Sisters, or the Pleiades Star Cluster, or Messier 45. They'll be within about a degree and a half of each other, which is like taking your arm, outstretching it, and your thumb would be able to almost cover them both up. That represents about a degree and a half in our sky. Again, best time to see this will be in the evening, looking to the west at about 8.15. Now, for the weekend, Saturday, April 30th, you'll see the kissing planets, quote unquote. Venus and Jupiter will be between an outstretched arm's pinky width away in our early morning sky. Best time to see this will be between about 5.15 and 6 in the morning. Now, you don't necessarily need binoculars or a telescope to see this, but with either of those things, you would reveal Jupiter's four Galilean moons. And if you look to the upper right of our two kissing planets, you'll find the planet Mars. As always, We'll hope for clear skies. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.